What's the matter? Help. Here. Hey. Bruce. What are you doing? Rough night there, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> Is this like, it's like your own little pad up here or what? Hi. Get in your boots? Yeah. Oh, babe, guess what I got? What? Wait a second, wait a second. Crocs. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? How long is it gonna be before they look like them? Oh man. Probably end of the day. So the only problem with Crocs and wearing them as farm shoes, well, there's one. There's a lot of problems, but the one main problem, when you're walking through like the thorns and the brush and all that, it gets stuck in your Crocs. And then after like a month, you need some pink boots. <laughs> and then after like a month, you feel like you're walking on thorns. What do you think, buddy? What are you thinking? Mm -hmm. Are you pregnant too? You're not pregnant, are you? Oh, they're just fat and happy. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs fly spray. Man, did you see? You know where they put that sticker on her at the auction? Mm -hmm. That's it's still there. No. Well, one thing's for sure: if she has a baby, we'll know if it's his, because it ain't gonna be brown. Not entirely brown, though, right? Or maybe she had a paint boyfriend at the old at her old place. I don't know. When I get here, they're like food, 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 food. <laughs> when Ray gets here, they're like, oh, cuddles. <laughs> By the way, Rosie um, despises chickens I know. with a passion. Look, look, look! She's chasing that one. Bruce, is there any way you'd let me show everybody your horns? Huh? No? He's getting little baby horns. I thought he'd been disputed. But. Yeah, that's that's a big dog. <laughs> what I can't believe is they're almost the perfect size for each other. Yeah. I mean, they're almost exact size. She likes the tough guys. She's so soft. Just like you. You wouldn't have me if I was sensitive, overly sensitive. <laughs> Look out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm tangled. Still no baby, huh? She's not pregnant. Snicker, we had a long talk. Look out. <laughs> so everybody asks about Bruce being in here eating. Only reason we allow it is we have not found goat poop in the trough. And I know you're like, well, but he's got poop on the bottom of his feet, blah, blah, blah. I know, but they all walk around where they eat, right? <laughs> yeah. Look out. Oh, let me see if I can show his horns. You stinker. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah. Heard that. <laughs> this goat is so little.
Alan always gets done eating first, and then he goes for a little roll in the hay, alone. <laughs> Alpacas are so gross. Ninja, but it might be a ninja. She may be laying, I don't know. Definitely ain't crowing. Morning, everybody. Chad and Ray at their farms. <laughs> she turned me to grab a chicken. Time out. Oh. Well, you picked a calm one. Okay. Let me take that back. Right now she wants cubes. <laughs> Once she said cubes, then you can scratch her nose. But yeah, we were giving all these guys grain and then we learned about crest neck on donkeys. And they actually get fat deposits in their neck. And if it falls, if it falls over, it never goes back and it can be painful. So we paused that grain immediately. So now they just get like a few cubes. I can show you right here on her. But this can actually become loose and like droop and hang down. It's very, it's just, boy, it's sad. Because she might be pregnant. We don't know. We bought her at an auction, a reputable auction. We know she's good, safe, wormed, all that good stuff. But we don't know anything about her. They may have actually mentioned at the auction she's bred, but I went to load some goats and gave Ray my ticket number and when I got back she bought a donkey and didn't know anything about it. You get to pet him? Yeah. See he's got horns growing in. He definitely wasn't disbudded. I was told there'd be like big like black rings, like from cauterizing. Am I saying that word right? Mm -hmm. So he definitely wasn't. I'm, <laughs> Mama just wants food. Her belly is awfully low. So here's what people keep telling us is, see how much space there is between her belly and her back hip, or I guess her back leg. That's a flank. And you could say She's hollow in the flank. Her belly does not touch her leg, whereas her belly touches. See, Tina's doesn't touch. See how there's just not much of a gap there. I don't know. Ray still says no. And for all we know, she may not have been pregnant, but now she's pregnant with Alan's baby and it's just gonna be a year. But we're not sure Alan actually <laughs> likes girls. No, stop it. I mean, I'm just saying, if I was the only boy at the breakfast table, I wouldn't walk away. What'd you say about Snicker? Looks like she's scared all the time. Alan used to let me love him until we had to hold him down. Antibiotics. Yeah. Now he doesn't let us get anywhere near him. No, well he tore my bicep, I don't really care. <laughs> Does he not know it's you? Or he's just concentrating on food. <laughs> he and Rosie have a love-hate as well. She does look surprised all the time. You know what she looks like? She looks like one of them girls that gets her eyebrows done. They got the big old arch. Can I say that? Then they just look shocked all the time. The guy over here is Dustin Fields, so he's gonna be kind of noisy. Bo's gotta be the chillest goat in the world. Uh, oh, honey. Left Ray with the alpacas. 
bud. We're gonna walk down here, see if anybody wants some cubes. I think Fred and the steers and maybe the girls are already in the pond or getting close to it. It is warming up this morning already. See who else notices. <laughs> yeah, here they come. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Everybody said feed you with a flat hand. Like that, kind of, sort of, see, Woo! it's gotta be quick. Hey, there's some on the ground behind you. Let's put some in here. Look out. So they've got plenty now. Burger Bros to stop a ways back up there. And that should be plenty for everybody. Why do we give them cubes? Well, as Gary Walker would say, it keeps them gentle. Grain trained, trailer ready, load ready, whatever. Like when it comes time to load the steers, if I've got some kind of pin, as long as these steers, as long as I've got cubes they'll come to them so that's why we do it i don't do it every day though i haven't done this since wednesday no nope, maybe thursday so a couple times a week just keeps them gentle keeps them coming to you the flies are so bad this year goodness I think Fred and the girls get bad flies because they go in the pond. Then this stuff kind of settles on their backs and things. That's not pressurized. So, like I just sprayed right there, but all the cubes I dumped are over there. There aren't any over there. I know somebody's going to pause it and go back and watch. Be like, I saw a cube. Fred just ate one covered in bug spray. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got him good that time. Whew. All right, that's enough. All right, let's go see if mother hen's still on the nest. It's a lovely parting gift, thank you. All right, remember our friends at Old Redding Farm sent us two dozen eggs to hatch from their special chickens. And our incubator only holds, our incubator only holds 22. So we put two of them in here and they are marked. They're Jubilee Orpingtons. And I've been leaving two others in here for her. So I can tell you which one she is. And I don't see her. She's got a lot of white on her. But... I tell you, every time I check, she's on those eggs. So, I think she's doing it. It has also been still really hot here. We've had some rain, we've had some relief, but it's still hot. So I'm aware that she probably doesn't have to sit on those eggs as much right now to keep them at, you know, whatever temperature she says. The incubator you do 100 degrees but i don't know what she's actually doing well i didn't think this through at all there we go man this chicken right here this is the one rockers brought us and i say chicken because we don't know if it's a he or a she yet because all chickens are chickens hens lay eggs roosters do not but when the walkers brought us this one, we named it Ninja because they thought it was a rooster. And I did too. It used to have some real 
tall, like, I think they're called sickle feathers in the back. But in the last month, those are gone. They're gone. I don't know. This, they may have given us a layer. Somebody said the other day the cows won't drink out of that with the hose running. Not true. They do it every day. Now, if it was like squirting 10 feet in the air, no, they wouldn't, but. <laughs> Who's the boss? This will be a test of wheels right here. <laughs> they know. They just figured it out these last couple months that he's the herd bull. But they know. They drink that water down every day. So I love that it's always fresh. Remember when we first started dating and you said, do you have a boat? I was like, no, but we could get one. Do you remember that? I don't remember saying that. Oh. <laughs> I remember saying it. Or no, I think we agreed since we were looking for land, we would just rent one if we wanted oh. to go hang out on the lake. Yeah, we're right close to the lake. Yeah. So and now we have a pond though. We needed, we needed a boat. And you bought a boat, didn't you? Oh, I bought a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew they could fit a boat in a box? It's so cute. Hang on a second. What you doing, babe? Hmm. That's why it was so cheap. It came with one of those amazing automatic pumpers. Before anybody says anything, Hold 790 pounds. <laughs> we could put one of the burger bros in here. You're doing a good job. <laughs> you needed to work out today. We thought we had an automatic here. I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Are you sure that's going to work? Mm -mm. Are you full enough of hot air? Mm -hmm. I think you should have blown that up first. You all right? Yeah, if the ship goes down because I didn't do this, ship goes down. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Don't judge me, Fred. I see you. We're not all this buoyant. Oh, this is gonna be a good time. Where do we put in? <laughs> Anywhere. Whew. You blew up one of the pillows, didn't you? You literally blew up a pillow. <laughs> so some of you guys, one of you guys, excuse me, sent us a, it's like a pole for reaching objects. And I think they make different attachments for it. And I apologize. It's been a while since we got it, but I've used it a couple. I've used it a couple of times for getting the ducks out of the water. Cause you can extend it, I think, to like 15 feet. Did you bring your oar? No, I brought my pillow. So I have to do all the paddling. You know, sometimes it takes two oars to make it go straight. Okay. I don't know why I didn't bring the other one. It's not mine. <laughs> that one's mine. No, it's not. <laughs> I thought you had both. I don't know what you were thinking. All right, well, I vote you go first because you're not going to sink like I will. <laughs> What's the matter? Here. No, I can't. Oh, I'm stuck. Come here. I'm looking. I can see it. Everybody's watching. I'm not moving. Hang on, you're scaring the animals. What? <laughs> Babe! 
Okay, these boots cannot go in the boat now. That's for sure. Oh my goodness, there's so much Fred poop on them. It's uh, mud. Nope, it's cow septic. You gotta go in. Uh. <laughs> that mud is deep. Yep. This is gonna be awesome. Rock, babe. Rock. I'm trying. <laughs> Hang on. You think you're gonna float or sink? I, this doesn't look very promising. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You're gonna get so far out, I can't get in. You can't get in yet. I need both doors, babe. You need to sit on your cushion. Well, it's because you're tiny. Oh, yeah. Wait. I need both doors. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Everybody is very, very concerned and curious. You said you wanted to go kayaking. Looking good, babe. Woo! Go pull those T-posts out in that tire over there. I could pull that T-post out of the mud if I wanted to. Other spiders in the middle of the pond. That's a great question. You got company. What? Oh God. What do I do with this thing? Just stick it down next to the teapot. See how deep it is. You don't have to extend it. Like, do you feel the ground? Concrete? Yeah. Right there. So we may have to like wrap chains around that and pull it out. There's no telling what that is. I'm sure they buried something. Well, hi, Fred. Can you go first, Fred? Ooh, that water's so I guess my only question is now, if we dig out the middle, do we maybe close that off right there yeah. and pump the water over to that side so we can see what this looks like? No, make it big. Just dig the whole thing out? It's hard being in those rings. <laughs> See? <laughs> Take like them out. Too, the rings are like too small for the poles. Babe, we're going in circles. I know, I'm trying to take you forwards. It's hard paddling backwards. I think this is why they row backwards. Is it easier? Yep, for sure. But they sit backwards too, so technically they're rowing forwards, right? Yeah. Feel how cold the water is. Nice. Yeah, it's cold. No wonder all the animals love it. I figured with it being so low and so hot that the water would be hot, but it's not at all. Everyone's watching. 
Well, we know how deep it is right here because the cows literally walk in down there, walk all the way across, and then walk out right here. Yeah, my butt's on the ground. <laughs> Can you feel it? Yep. Oh, sure. Look at those beaver dens, babe. Those are huge. Yep. That's still on the ground. Is it? I'm sitting on my floaty. Look, there's another one. Oh, there's more. So a friend of mine, I, sure I won't mention. Do we only have one beaver? He thinks there's a family, or at least there was. He said they're not here now. He said they wouldn't be there with that little of water. Like there's nowhere for them to go. He did say our dam is deep enough that we could, or he would recommend anyway. Oh, but I'm off the ground now. He would recommend actually digging those out with an excavator, which means getting all the trees off the bank. Yeah. But he said clearing all those trees out will there. actually deter beavers because then they don't have anything to whatever. But he said your over your overflow, wherever it's at, is probably what they were stopping, the flow of. So. I so badly want to clear all that out. Oh, it, I, I think it all needs to be. Yeah. Well, on Dusty at Cross Timbers Bison, um, you know, I was watching his video the other day, and he actually had his... Um, gosh, what do they call it? Dredged, where they get all the muck off the bottom of the pond. Mm -hmm. Just makes it healthier. The water's cleaner, um, and you can still have fish in it. I mean, you're not you're not gonna grow like you know ten pound bass. The ground is still. I'm scratch. I'm touching the ground. Are you sure? Yep. We're in the middle. I'm touching the ground. Yeah. No, you could be touching it, but we are. Oh, I'm it's touching. Not really... I'm touching the ground. Well, that's true. <laughs> I'm like two feet lower than you are in this thing. You're sinking the boat, man. Yeah, it's only like from the blue handle to there. It's only like four feet. Mhm. Mm I mean, heck, I can use it like a gondola and just push us. Yeah. But there's definitely some muck in the bottom but during the rainy season i mean it's like it's like five or six feet down i mean this is way down yeah so yeah the water is usually like the top of the island mm -hmm. because we would walk across it but well there were times when you didn't even know like it, it didn't really feel like a peninsula it was just like a land strip yeah, water is usually at the very tip of that. But remember, part of the reason we dug that out was because there were beaver holes going all the way through it. Mm -hmm. And when the water would get really high, you could actually see on the land bridge water like underneath it. Like you could see all the way through the water. So the beavers actually had made a place for the fish to get from one side of the peninsula to the other. Yeah. So... Turtle! He just went under. Aww. He's trying to figure out what we're doing. Like our turtle tank, or Case's axolotl tank. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't replace all the water in there, which our turtles are a different story. Turtles get a muck, and sometimes you have to just forego trying to clean. Like with Case's axolotl, it's a 25 gallon tank. And what we do is we just replace like half the water every so often, but we don't replace all the water because there's good bacteria and organisms in that tank. So what I'm thinking is, what I'm scientifying is, if we dig out the peninsula right before the rainy season and we get all new water in here, which we will, because it's gonna start raining soon. Oh, this is the longest we've ever gone without rain though. This is very long. Dig all that out. And then we got all that rain. We would uh, essentially change more than half the water. I guarantee it. 
And I think we were told it's what a three quarter acre pond right now. And that's definitely about an acre of land. Mm -hmm. But this was, this pond was done by, we don't even know, years and years and years and years ago. Like probably more than 20 years ago. And then the previous, previous owners made the peninsula and dug out the other side. So we knew from talking to them, they're the same guys that told us where the septic tank was. Those guys. Yeah. But they're the uh, ones that put the pump in the water. So but right now this pond is not any deeper than five feet anywhere. You can see where it used to be. Like those tree stumps right there. That used to be <clears throat> up to, like the water used to be that high. Well, the water used to be halfway up that. Oh, it was more than half. Dock thing. See where the grass gets longer? Yeah, it was way, it was up there. Yeah. We're what, last weekend at your parents' house and it poured down rain? Like poured for a long time, but it did nothing here. Didn't do anything here. <laughs> nothing here. This is the longest I think we've ever gone without rain. Well, it started clouding up at mom and dad's and we checked the radar, or no, we checked our cameras here, thinking it was cloudy and gonna rain. Nothing. And then it never did anything and it poured at mom and dad's. And then when we left and started heading home, we came right into the sun. Yep. Nothing, dry as a bone. Case asked me the other day on the way to school if it ever rains here. <laughs> it's like, we're- Poor Case feels like he moved to like the desert or I something. I know, we're only 30 minutes away from where <laughs> you guys used to be. It's so funny. Well, so where mom and dad are at in Joplin, it's about 45 minutes away. And- Yeah, it's just a little bit further. They're right outside of town. But there's a lot, a lot of hills over there. And when you have those hills and you get these cold air and warm air masses mixing, they get rain. Like even in the winter, it'll snow at mom and dad's and it won't snow anywhere else. Just, just flurries, I mean. So, but here, very few hills, very few. I want to get you like right next to these beaver holes. Isn't that creepy? That is. That's crazy. Now see that branch that's laying down just above it? The mm -hmm. big tree? Yep. See the ones folded over? That's a beaver. <laughs> Don't scare me. I've got your phone inches above the water right now. You'll go get it. <laughs> no, you'll go get it. That goes way back there. I know. That's what worries me. Oh man, you can't even see it with the camera hardly. No. That branch above your head. That's crazy. But like that's not old. That that wood's only been exposed for like a year. Mm-hmm. We definitely had a beaver, if not multiple. Oh, well, we saw the beaver. We know we had one. Yeah. See, I think this is a dam. Looks like it. I think that's all a dam. Dude's probably in there right now. Fishing hook. Hey, there's one of my swim jigs. <laughs> Those sticks touching the bottom of the boat feel weird. I don't like it. I think they tried to dam this up. Uh -huh. Turtle. I'm getting the hang of this now. <laughs> I could be one of them dudes in Paris. Stands on the back of it. Italy. Gondola. It's not Paris, it's Italy. Venice. Italy, Paris, London, France. Not the same. Someone's underpants. <laughs> the cows will not come out here while we are. They're normally in here right now. Fred's probably mad at me. Mm -hmm. Feel that. Put your stick down there. I did. So you know what I'm wondering is... 
Ew, I can't believe you're touching that. <laughs> Big dragonfly. Hmm. What? So this is one tire. I wonder if I got an excavator and some chains. I could probably pull this out with that tire. I bet that's why that's on there. Well, I'm gonna dig this all out, huh? That is a lot of dirt. A lot of dirt. Huh? What, babe? Well, we'll use it. I mean, anywhere there's, anywhere we want good dirt. I mean, we could still use some up by the cabin. Just to bring it up a little bit, make it more level. Thanks for letting us borrow your swimming hole. They're kind of snobs once they've had their food. <laughs> True. It's so funny that the cows take that tree and then they take this tree. Mm -hmm. Better hope this one makes it now. I think they'd be, they'd be kind of mad if we chop it down. Oh, what do we do? Set it on fire twice? <laughs> we almost caught it on fire twice and then Kyle, my brother from KNS, get out. Hit it with a skid steer. So was that the boat of your dreams? When I proposed, I promised you. Dream boat. Any, I'm your dream boat. <laughs> I promised you when we got married that I'd give you the world. She just laugh at me. I think so. <laughs> but anyway, it was more relaxing than I thought. It'd be nicer if it was deeper. Yes. But anyway, man, guys, we got a lot going on, but we're having a ton of fun trying to clean up as best we can remember we haven't seen this property in september october november december january february was it late was it early march when we saw it and we even saw it with snow on the ground once but it was one of those snows where it was like 32 degrees in the morning and it snowed and then it melted by 5 p.m i think we've definitely seen what we need to see about the pond like i think we just cleaned the banks up like crazy which is what our trapping buddy told us to do take all those trees out um like dusty baker was saying down at cross timbers bison uh cypress trees willow trees they're pretty but they drink a lot of water and i know you guys say these mimosas do too but our mimosas are on the high side of the pond so they're not soaking water up this way but we hope you guys like it i mean we're just out here I and mean, this is what i do every day i'm having a ton of fun now you can log into the pond camera and see me out there on my boat while you're at work Oh, I bet. I can, I can only imagine. But, yep, you're going to be on that boat every day. Yep. You might. Are we going to leave it down there? I don't know. I don't think you should. Think they'll pop it? Yep. I'll go get it. Fred don't like anything in his way. We used to have a lawnmower that sat out there, and he used to toss the lawnmower in the water like a little push mower. <laughs> He'd turn it over every day. Yep. That's all we got for you guys today. Um, just as you guys watch these videos, it's not that we're, like, worried about any negative comments. I mean, you're going to get negativity everywhere. It's part of life. People just feel like they've always got something they need you to know so that they feel better. But we did have somebody that was like, man, why haven't you cleaned it up? Why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done that? You know, fix this, fix that. Oh. What'd she say? I can't believe you brought property and let it sit. Bought property and let it sit was one of the comments. Like we haven't done anything. I mean, that field was so overgrown, you couldn't even use it. We got it hayed. Oh my gosh. It I looks was, like, amazing. out on the tractor, taking out all those trees oh, yeah. and stuff, the well, brush hog. Ray has brush hogged that five acre pasture, which is the roughest pasture we've got. She brush hogged that. They're used to right where the cabin stood. Uh, again, like if you're new here, where the cabin is now, there used to be a concession stand. And, and a, watch a watchtower. Like 16 by 20 feet tall. And there was metal buildings out here. There was bleachers out here. There was all sorts of stuff and right now it's summertime and yes everything is overgrown that's part of it <laughs> but well and it'll be overgrown next year if we don't brush hog it but now done, we can see what it looks like well we have done so much and we closed so june july august in three months just a little more than 90 days because we didn't want to do a whole lot before we actually closed because you never know three and a half months so much has changed so 
Yep. If you think it's... You can kick rocks. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> That's what I have to say. If not, yeah. Anyway, don't DM me because I'll tell you what I think. Uh, but with that, 99.9% .9 of you guys that watch us are so supportive and we can't thank you enough. Our beautiful driveway, our wedding present. Man, what a gift. Every time I drive down that, I thank you guys. I know she does too. And We actually had to replace two tires on her car before we got the driveway because it's like that flint rock in some spots and I think it just... Her tires weren't ready for it, but now she can drive all the way up and down the driveway, no worries. And we've got a house plan picked out. I mean, we have a mortgage on the land and we're trying to do things in the proper order, but we've got a house plan, we've got a plan for the cabin, and we're just super excited. So, can't do this without you guys. With that said, y'all be good, don't work too hard, don't make it weird. God bless. Deuces. <laughs>